Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kobe Blue tutorial. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at LERP. Um, LERP is short for linear interpolation and it's a basic mathematical equation that can be extremely useful um, in coding, especially for timing based animations, uh, smoothing, um, such things like that. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and open Photoshop. Um, What's the best way to explain this? I guess, imagine we had a timeline, okay? So this is our timeline. Um, this is one here. Uh, this is zero, sorry. And this is one over here. So then we have our start number and our end number. So we'll say that our start number is one and our end number is 10, right? So, well, our start number should really be zero. So what happens with loop is basically you you give a number between 0 and 1 and then you take a sample at that point. So if I did 0 0.5, that's going to be in between these two, which is going to be here. And of course, uh, halfway in between 0 and 10 is, of course, 5. So let's say we did uh, 0 0.75 as the, the sample or time, as some people call it. Um, then we would be doing 7.5 up here. Now this all seems pointless because we're just multiplying the number by 10. But if we go back to, um, I can, oh, sorry, it popped up and I didn't see it. Uh, right, if we go back to these, now we could put different numbers in here. We could start at zero. Oh, that color, whoops. Sorry about this. Right, there you go. We could start at zero. And we could say go to 20. So again, it seems basic, but this just multiplies it by two. So if we did a 0 0.5 value down here, we're going to get 10 up here. Um, so I hope that kind of makes sense. So like, like this is useful uh, because say you wanted to gradually go from one number like 10 up to the number 30, we could keep taking samples at say 0. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and then we'll just slowly work our way up to 1, and then we'll get our final result. So, before I continue any more, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open up some Lime text here. Uh, this is just a file in my Lua folder called Test Client, nothing special. Um, so, in here, I'm going to say uh, local test equals, and then we'll loop and the first parameter is our value. So I'm going to do zero for now. Then I'm going to do uh, zero again and 100. Okay, so now this zero is our start number. This is our end number. And this is our value or time or sample, or whatever you want to call it. So if from this demonstration, you understood anything, if we have zero as our start and we start at zero, we're going to get zero. So if we go underneath here and we just go ahead and we print out test like that. Um, by the way, sorry if I'm not explaining this too well. Um, can't really think of a better way to explain it. So let's just jump into a single player game. Okay, so now that we're in, we're going to open up our console and we're going to do Lua open script CL and we're going to open up uh, test underscore client. Um, so as you can see, whenever I run this script, it prints out zero in console. And of course that was expected because of our code. But let's say we start at 0 0.5, which should be halfway in between 0 and 500. We should then get 50. And there you go. As you see, we, we get 50. So what we could do here is we could say local player elf. Um, let me zoom out a bit for you. Uh, you should all know what this does. If you don't, then go back and watch my previous videos. But generally, the health goes between 0 and 100. So if we just divide it by 100... Rather than the health being between 0 and 100, it's going to be between 0 and 1. So that way, we could then do, uh, I don't know, let's say a 1,000 in here. Again, this is kind of pointless because it's just like multiplying it by a 1,000. Uh, but you'll see that now that I'm on 100% health, we get a 1,000. But if I take a bit of damage, so that would be 0 0.9. And as you can see, we get 900. Now, uh, let, let's take a look at something where this might be useful. So let's go ahead and let's get a hook.add. Whoops, uh, hood paint. Sorry about the name. Now, what we'll do in here is we'll do draw dot rounded box, um, just like normal. But if we 
go and we put in uh, zero, zero. Um, the width will for now put a thousand, uh, not for that thousand, we'll do one. Actually, we'll do, yeah, we'll do a thousand just because it's easier to see. Um, and then we'll do a hundred on the Y, and then we'll do a, whoops, a color of that. Right, so now this is just uh, our standard, you know, hood paint. It's just going to draw a nice big red box at the top of our screen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable up here um, called smooth health, okay? And we're going to set it equal to zero. Actually, you know what? We'll set it equal to 100. Now, what we're going to do in our hood paint, because remember, hood paint gets called every frame of the game just like paint, uh, just like think, sorry. Sometimes it gets double called. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write a line of code here. And some of you may make sense of it, but I will explain it in a second. So we're going to say health is equal to lip. Um... We'll do, uh, if you noticed, I explained frame time in the previous video, uh, mainly for this purpose. Um, and then we're going to start at move, whoops, move health. Oh my gosh, I can't type today. And we're, our end is going to be local player health. So that's our line of code there. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this uh, 1,000 value here with smooth health. I'm going to times it by 1,000 just so... Uh, times it by 10, sorry, because I remember health is 100, so by times it by 10, we can bring it up to 1,000. Um, but now if I run out of script, what you'll see, I think I just completely worked that out wrong. Uh, what is our health? Nope, that should have worked. I don't actually know why that didn't. Okay, we want times it by 10. We'll leave it at 100. Okay, so actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Right, so you, what you'll notice now is our, our health is there, right? But if I take damage, right, it might be quite hard to see on the video. But do you see how it kind of slows down? And I could make it go even slower by changing this value here from a 10 to, say, a 2. Um, and by doing that, what you'll notice is when I run the script, you'll see that it moves a lot slower now down to that particular number. Now, I'm going to give you a quick explanation on how this works. So we're going to go back to our amazing drawing board here. Now, this might get a little bit confusing, but I assure you that it's incredibly simple. Um, let's say our we have a variable, okay? We're going to call the variable x, and x is equal to 100, okay? Now, we say that the start of our loop is x, so it's going to be 100, and we say that the end of it is our health, which we'll, we'll just call H. And let's say our health is also 100, okay? And just so you know, um, ignore this frame time part for now. Let's just say we put uh, a really small number in here, okay? Let's say that the value is 0. Point, uh, we'll do 0. 0.5 for now. That's quite big, but we'll pretend that V, which is our sample on this, is uh, 0. 0.5. Now, what's going to happen here is... It's going to get a 0 0.5 value between X and health. Now, because they're both 100, it's going to still be 100 and our health will stay at 100. But let's say our health drops down to 90. I don't know what I was doing then. Let's say it drops down to... Oh, wow. Yeah, let's say it drops down to 90 here. So let's pretend this is a 90. Um, what's going to happen then is when we take the 0 0.5 sample, it's going to be between 100 and 90, which would be, of course, 95. But now, on the next frame, x is no longer 100, x is 95. So the next time we take a sample, it's going to be between 95 and 90. So this time, instead of getting 95, we're going to get 9.25. And I hope that makes sense, but it's kind of like uh, going up like this and taking a smaller and smaller sample each time um, until you hit the float point limit and it just rounds up anyway. You can also round the number if you want. But this is essentially what this is doing here. Um, let's say we typed in something like uh, 0 0.1, okay? We're taking a really small sample each time and because, of course, we set smooth health to the new value, that's going to make the loop smaller and smaller, which adds that smooth effect that, you know, the closer it gets to its target, it slows down. Um, that was an incredibly bad explanation, but I can't really do any better job than that. Um, 
So I hope that makes sense to uh, people who wanted it. But just know that Lerp isn't only used um, for smoothing animations like this. It can be used for many, many things. It's, it's a, an extremely useful function. Um, but if you do have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to get back to you. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.